Hi everybody, this is Ellie. Thanks so much for joining me today for a flip through of the month of November in my pocket size bullet journal. I had a lot of fun in November. I think it feels like I really just used this bullet journal and that's my favorite is just to have a whole bunch of pages with random notes and you know dailies where I keep track of the big and little things that happened and just feeling like this was fun and functional. I have my vellum from Mrs. Brimble's Etsy shop and this printable from Courtney Diaz. I had some tasks and I did well about coming to this spread every evening. I'm actually trying to implement an evening planner routine inspired by Lindsay Scribbles. I kind of went through what I need and what I want to get to in the mornings and the evenings and I've just been tweaking it. I showed this in another video, but I just have all these scribbles. I've been playing around with it and I'll continue to do so for the rest of this year and hopefully come up with something a little more concrete, but obviously still flexible for 2021. For my Calendex, I tried something a little different. I thought maybe I would write things that were more out of the ordinary and not just everyday things. And it was okay, but I prefer having a fuller Calendex, so I'm going to try and go back to writing in it every evening in December. I really used my monthly calendar this month. I kept track of the videos I was posting. I have some Instagram posts, birthdays, events, my two washi tapes from Note and Wish. I also tabbed this page, which I think helped me come back to it. This is actually probably the most tabs that I've had in a bullet journal since I started this year, which is funny because it's four tabs and, you know, I'm a big follower of Dakshina's and she just, what is it called? Oh, she tabs all the things and I love it and I can see why now. So I have this tab that has my Christmas list for my loved ones. This one that I just showed you, which is on my monthly calendar. This here is for the 2020 planner advent videos so that I can reference it quickly. And this last one is my daily page. The weeklies were great. I keep an ongoing task list for the week. Uh, sometimes I keep track of habits, not too much in November. Instagram posts, birthdays, events, and gratitude, and my weather. Tracking the weather is just fun. I love using these stickers from Little Branches Paper. This is from Simply Gilded. Little Branches Paper has three colorways, so I've tried all three of them in this weekly section. And my favorite is this one. I think it's called the Brights. I'm not 100% sure, but when I reorder, I think I'll get more of those colors. This is so old, I don't know when this one's from. Here we decorated the Christmas tree and I loved using this from Pumpkin Paper Co. It was also a rainy week. I told you guys I went for kind of a moody, gloomy November theme and that's turned out to be pretty true, although November was milder than we expected. And then we head into my dailies. So this is from a new to me shop that I've mentioned before, Paper Bits Co. I love her little critters. I think they're so cute. So this was when my brother's girlfriend baked us some chocolate chip cookies. I've got some video notes. The US election, I used a sticker from the Coffee Monsters Co. Got my flu shot. This was November's stationary stockpile challenge. This is a monochromatic spread and I chose purple. I love how this turned out. It's super cute. I'll link the playlist, which is a collab with Dakshina. And it's never too late to participate. If you have stickers that fit any of these themes, then go for it and please be sure to use the hashtag so we can find you guys. This is from Once More With Love, Simply Gilded. The first Christmas movie of 2020. It was a Netflix one, the Christmas drop, I think it was. I'm a big fan of cheesy Christmas movies, so. It's fun to start watching them. Some more washi from Note and Wish. That gold foiling is so stunning. Here are some 2021 planner thoughts. Just gave myself a couple of pages for those. And this is when I was thinking about the routines, what I wanted to try and do in the morning and in the evenings. 
some fountain pen recommendations. I'm thinking of asking for like a starter fountain pen. I have the Twisby Eco. I do want to try something else as well. I was looking up some books to get Paul for his birthday, so I just wrote down some recommendations here. A lot of Russian authors. Back here, I wasn't trying something new with the lines there. I just drew it in the wrong spot. This is another Paper Bits Co. It's, oh, I don't know if you saw my Instagram post. If I have it on my phone, I'll put it here too. But Desi, Desi, poor Desi's getting older and he has some age spots and sometimes he likes to try and chew on them. So I made him, he has a couple of sweaters, but it got really warm. So I made him this shirt. I mean, shirt is a generous term, but it was out of an old white t-shirt and I just kind of I don't I don't even know I cut some leg holes and then like tied it around his back and he just looked like a, he just looked like a poor soul or like you know the paper bag princess or something but it was also just super cute remembrance day sticker from the coffee monsters co a wish list be and co and nutmeg and arlo this is when they brought in the tree I was exhausted this day. I love, I love that little bear. Some video notes, Simply Gilded, another Christmas movie. Finished The Midnight Library by Matt Haig, and that's from Pumpkin Paper Co. Some more notes on the planning routine, so things I wanna do in the morning, in the evening, weekly, monthly. I still have to get into weekly and monthly. I'm still working on the dailies right now. I watched Big Hero 6. I was in the mood for a comfort movie and I follow C. Amy Draw on Instagram and I've seen Big Hero 6 before, but I just, she had been posting some of her Hollow Bay designs, which I mean are so stinking cute that uh, I knew that's what I wanted to watch and it was, it was just lovely. This is one of those little corner munchkins from Once More With Love peeking. This cloud vellum from Mrs. Brimble Shop. We decorated the, we started decorating the house, not the tree yet, but um, putting up some decorations, some Christmas movies and books. I posted this on Instagram too, but I am open to any recommendations. If you guys have any you'd like to leave in the comments. My grandma turned 89 on the 20th, so, you know, we we had a little cake and ate dinner together, and it was really nice. Watched some Beauty and the Beast with Paul and my grandma. We watched the live-action version, and I was so happy. I've had this princess sticker sheet from the Coffee Monsters Co., and for over a year, I think, and I finally got to use some this month. So there's Belle, and I watched another Christmas movie that evening. That, that Saturday was... Uh, pretty lazy one. And then my mom and I watched Frozen, so I got to use an Elsa sticker. I was a little under the weather, so it was nice to just kind of cuddle up and watch movies. Once more with love, Desi was being especially needy that day, so I just have this little dog munchkin. And this is a section for my 2020 YouTube Advent series. So I've already posted at least one video by now, but I will link the playlist. This was put together by Simone and five of us are each doing five videos. So I needed to try to schedule that out because I'm a pretty fly by the seat of my pants YouTuber. I have a general idea of like, I know every month I'll film a setup video and a flip through. And beyond that, I just kind of see what comes up, but I knew I needed to get organized because I had specific dates and I'm, you know, like I feel like I'm part of a group and I just wanted to make sure I was on top of things and didn't let anyone down. So I printed off the same blank monthly calendar that I use every month from Peanuts Planner Co. And I actually started the last full week of November because I knew that's when I needed to start getting ready. So I just put the dates my videos are going up and then just some notes for myself on when I want to film and when I want to edit so that I can hopefully stay on top of that. And I've given myself obviously a grace period just in case things don't go exactly as planned. And like I mentioned, I tabbed this page. So for my tabs, I'm just using some post-it brand tabs. I have two of them here. These are the newer ones. So I think, yeah, 
So I've actually been using these ones and I just trim it off and then put a piece of washi tape and they work great. I like this, this one's Christmas themed because it's our planner advent series. Behind the calendar, I did a spread for each video. So video one is my intro spread. So I just kind of jot down the answers to the questions here. And then when I go through and edit the video, I put down all of the links that I want to include. So I have five of those spreads in here, which I won't show you right now, just in case I post this before any other videos go up. I don't want to do any spoilers. This was my grandpa's birthday. I did some planning. That's from Pumpkin Paper Co. as well. And this is when Paul and I went to the Immersive Van Gogh exhibit for his birthday. It was absolutely beautiful. It was also really neat because it was a drive-in experience. So it was in an old building in Toronto and we just kind of drove up through the loading dock. It was kind of like in a manufacturing area and it was just a big room and a few cars. We all stayed in our cars and if we opened the windows or anything, we had to be masked. You can even see their logo. They put a mask on the Van Gogh self-portrait there. And it was beautiful. Like it had music timed to the show. It was about half an hour and the paintings moved and the screen was so big that you could see the brush strokes. I mean, it was a little bit awkward to kind of look out the windshield because of the way the cars slope, but you could see beautifully still. And it was just really, really nice to have an experience during the pandemic because we really haven't been able to at all. So it's really interesting to see how places are adapting and offering what they can. So I printed out a couple of pictures and I wrote a little bit about it and I asked Paul to write a little bit about it. And I love this. This has just turned out to be one of my favorite spreads. Here it was Black Friday. I treated myself to quite a few sticker shops that I had been waiting for and I'm excited to have some new stickers for 2021. Christmas movie, we all decorated the Christmas tree. So there we all are, barely, like you could see a couple people barely made it in there. And no Desi, unfortunately, but I don't know. He probably would have taken up this whole space with his furry little face. I have this super cute little reindeer paper clip from Paper Bits Co. Here we have some more Kintsugi tape. It was Paul's birthday, which we celebrated at home with the family and it was just a lovely, lovely day. After that, we get to my November review. I finished The Midnight Library, like I mentioned, watched Christmas movies, and also we watched The Undoing, which I did really enjoy. It was kind of, I guess, a psychological thriller or a, a mystery drama. Not really sure about the category, but um, we watched it on Crave or HBO, and... It was a little more intense and dark than shows I typically enjoy, but I did end up really enjoying it. Listening, eating, drinking, eggnog. My dad started making eggnog, which is nice. I think loving the immersive Enco exhibit, trying to film ahead. And yeah, I love this spread. Every single month, this is still one of my favorite things to do. So I'm looking forward to doing it in December. And that brings us to the last page. I think I had um, some video notes that did not fit. So I just put them on this post-it on this blank page. Now that I'm getting further into my Zequenz notebook, it's getting nice and fluffy, which I love. But one of the only real downsides of this book for me is that it doesn't lay flat. And I usually just use, I have a couple of paperweights, but I usually just put it there if I need well, sometimes I'll put it there if I really need it down to like put in some washi or something, but usually like just my hand being here when I write is enough, but it is something to note. Yeah, November is one of the months I think I enjoy the most in my bullet journal this year, which is really nice heading into the end of the year. Do you guys ever feel like that too? That some months are better or you just enjoyed it way more for reasons that are, I mean, kind of intangible, but I feel like maybe I was just using it more and having fun with it and trying different things like tabs and I don't know, but whatever it is, I liked it and I hope you did too. I hope you're all safe and well. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time.